YouTubers, good good morning. It's still morning here in Merritt. It's a gorgeous day. We've been having the last two weeks have been just just grand slam weather we've been having. I love it. I love this extra oh there are clouds coming in. But beautiful. Look at the behind me there. Blue skies. <sighs> Anyways, I want to ask you guys a question. Two things. One, don't forget to join me tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time for trends in the housing market. I'll have open lines for people to call in. Q1 numbers are slowly trickling in. It's very interesting to see what's happening, especially what's happening in Toronto, what's happening in Sydney and Melbourne, um, and how prices are still going up in Vancouver. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, don't forget to join me <laughs> tonight, 7 p.m. L.A. County time. And that would be, God, that would be noon in Sydney, and that would be Thursday, noon in Sydney, and then that would be 2 p.m. in Auckland, Thursday, 2 p.m. Anyways, I want to ask you guys a question. Is Canada better off being part of the United States? Are we better off unifying our currency to make us stronger, scrapping our crown land? That I don't even know why we still have crown land today. You know, changing things for Canadians and making it you know, a better thing, like the, the, scrapping the crown land would automatically allow us to build more homes, uh, create more parks, more, more space for people to live. And then uh, this would change a lot of the laws. I don't know what happens to the native reserves, if, if how they work in America, like things like that, things would change, but would they change for the better? Is Canada better off being part of the United States of America? That that's one thing. That's one thing too. I you know I've been asking myself the last couple of months with the amount of um, the amount of changes that are happening that are not beneficial for Canadians and not doing well for Canadians. And uh, I really want to know what you guys think about that one. You know, I want you guys to comment below. Um, it is the second week of April, 2018. If you're watching this in the future. And uh, I'm just enjoying. I got the store door open. Look at that. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Store door is open. It's been open for three days in a row. Letting in the fresh air. I'm just airing out the place last couple of days. So I want to know what you guys think. Comment below. Is Canada better off being part of the United States? One, one, one country, one dollar. Yes, our dollar will, our dollar will go up in value. Like. We'll, our dollar will be more valuable with the United States and with our trades and stuff and our GDP will mold in with the American and I mean all that stuff you will have a good uh, migration patterns you start seeing things move around a lot a lot of people moving south a lot of people moving north a lot of people moving east west you'll see huge migration patterns what else I don't know. I think there's benefits. I think benefits and then it's better economic wise. I think it's better for other reasons. You know, it would be, you know, a bigger territory. Um, you know, and if Mexico joined, that would be pretty good because then Mexico has got a lot of oil reserves that are untapped. Uh, Mexico has a lot of um, agriculture and farming, lots of farming, lots of lots of agriculture in Mexico. And that would be really good, too. And then we could scrap the French language and then add Spanish because there's 90 million Spanish speakers in the U.S. 90 million. So don't hate on me, French speakers. But that's just an idea. Oh. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, trends of the housing market tonight.